Are you recording this? It's recorded yeah. now. Um, You're right, buddy. Okay, so here's uh, my. I'm just trying to get into like a little more advanced concept here, and the the crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta show you the. Gotta show you my portfolio first. The, so there's just so many choices now that I'm getting mentally freeze. But my basic premise is still the same. I'm still trying to generate income monthly, as uh, and I'm trying to reach the ten thousand as fast as I can, uh, without growing my margin anymore. Uh, and so, uh, so that's that's it. And so when you you try to reach ten thousand as fast as you can, so you have to be, you can't use the same old premise from the month before and the month before. Because this, these things are very active and very fluid because there's uh, one month you made $2, another month you made $4, and some other month you made a dollar. So what you're trying to get is that those $1 and $2 funds. And, yeah. and, and your control ability when you change the temperature, the value you change is what you put in. The, you know, your contribution or your dividend investing. Yeah. So reinvesting. So... If 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 I go with the premise at the very beginning that you know I'm just going to put money in and fire for forget, it's not the same because all those and some of those vehicle they no longer paying a dollar, uh, they're paying like thirty cents now, you know, or or, or forty cents. I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, AMD Y they're not paying a dollar. Uh, well, I think AMD. I don't know what the price of AMD is. AIYY is a good example. AMD Y is a good example, and and then some other fund is the opposite. It's coming back up, like AMZ and Microsoft, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like even Google. So, like, Google pay low, but now it come back up. And, like, Disney, Disney is stabilized. If you just want to maximize all these return and you want to get to the 80 cents or higher, there's just a lot of choices. And, and so I'm constantly, like, trying to figure it out, you know, like, uh, debating between moving things around or 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 just throw because I have one thousand eight hundred coming in on Monday, and then by uh, when is the when is the payday for yield max? So on Monday is the sixth is the X day. So, so, Wednesday on Wednesday, so on the eighth. So on the eighth, I'm going to get four over four thousand dollar. Yeah. What am I buying? You know. Like, <laughs> um, here's how I look at it now. Yeah. Um, because with the exception of um, Misty, mm -hmm. so micro strategy, um, we've got you know, uh, Tesla's been around for 15 months now, whatever it is. Yeah, um, Clip's been around the same sort of time, so we can look at historical and I look at the percentages, not at the, the cents or dollars amount that mm -hmm. they pay. Because that flattens everything out. Yeah. I know Tesla's going to, within QE, going to pay a 50% return. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Clip's going to do 45 to 55% return. Well, that's, you know, 4% for a month. And, and that's pretty easy to work out. So yeah. I use the percentages to do that. And it flattens it out too. Like, how do you a, a, a equate um, Tesla? And Misty in the same sentence. One paid a four dollar dividend and then a two dollar yeah. odd dividend, and you know it is what it is. And and Petsley is half the price, but they still paid nearly sixty cents. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so it's real easy to say, well, Tesla at double the price would have paid a dollar twenty, and it probably would have been more because they would have won more trades. You know, and we wouldn't have um the pressure on the stock price that we've currently got from tesla going down we've just seen it bounce back a bit in the last week or two since earnings you know um so i just use the percentages and i play the percentage game mate when i'm working out what i want to buy with the dividends like i'm not a person that puts um the dividend that came from Tesla back into Tesla. Yeah. I look at it overall and I look at my blended rate in the portfolio and I 
try and predict what I want in the future and yeah. I make my purchases that way because in a perfect world you'd have pick your number 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 of each stock and just let it ride you know but that's not the way I work um, you would work something out like that yourself it's an easy way to do it but I think it's also a bit of a brain dead way to do it like you're right in saying you want to maximize your returns but if we wanted to do that the last two months we would have had everything in misty pretty much you know even though coney beat misty in percentage terms that's the crazy part about it how the hell did that happen you know yeah I, um, man it's just it, it, it's just it, it's this month man it's just it yeah, just, they nailed it oh, yeah. ah. across the board. You, yeah. you know, every month you're going to have to take some good with some bad. And I'm not on in all the yield max funds. Like, hey, you I'm know what crazy is that? Uh, crazy oh. is that we're debating a two dollar. <laughs> yeah, I know. And last month we were debating a four dollar twelve. <laughs> from, from my perspective, you, missed yeah. it, you know, it's a two dollar dividend, uh, and and uh, we we give it a hard time sometimes. We're like, what the heck? <laughs> Six months ago, we didn't think this could happen. Yeah. Nobody even said anything about it. Yeah. You know, I had some thoughts, but I certainly didn't think it could happen. But it just shows you what happens when a stock and MicroStrategy was released at the perfect time. Kesley wasn't. You know. So, um, so what and, I learned, what I learned from, so this is why my, my, Misty is still on my radar. I, I bought a lot of share. I have good cost average on Misty. Uh, obviously, yeah. if I buy any more, it's gonna cost average going to go up now. But but here's here's the thing that that I'm starting to understand this in the option trading change. As long as the volatility yep. is still high and the premium is still high, they're always going to generate at least two three dollars. And then not only that, Misty share count is still low. Like the only yeah. people, it, it you don't have the tourists. Like Tesla has the tourists. They they'll come in, they buy it, they get frustrated, they get out. You know, and Tesla uh, Tesla is a popular stock. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. So everybody piled into that. Yeah. So you like know, it it and... increased in the last month just because it went up, and then all these all these conversation about you know uh, Tesla uh, uh, the last two weeks, you know. So now you got to see more tourists, and you see the share price going up. Uh, not share price, but the share count going up. Count. But Misty, yeah. share count is like steady eddy. Um, yeah, it, it's growing, just not yeah. as far. Yeah. And it took me buggered why. I don't think they honest. have the tourists. They have, they, they, these are real investors. Yeah. Like, seriously, people that are looking for income. Yeah. Um, there's probably really four or five of the yield max stocks, and I'm not going to list them, but it's for you to do your own research, yeah. you know. But four or five stocks that people should just pile into. Now, I don't, I don't subscribe to that theory, I'm going to be honest and say that up front. I could be in more yield max stocks than I am, but I choose not to. Yeah. And, you know, like, I've got the three defiance funds, I've got four yield max funds. Um, I've got Clip, yeah. and now Esfol. Okay. Is there a coincidence there in 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 what I'm doing? And the answer is yeah, because I'm looking for a blended rate now. Esfol is a fairly new position. It's a relatively small position overall. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to get 30 or 40 or 50 percent out of that, and I'm okay with 18 percent. That's one and a half percent a month, and it can go straight back into that stock, and I will just compound it month by month. Yeah, uh, it, it is what it is, you know. But if I don't end up in in 12 or 18 months' time with that at 24, 25, 26 percent yield on cost, I think I'll be surprised, you know. So while I, like I don't need the money today, and I don't necessarily want the money today, but I want to give. Yeah, what the what money Esvold give you is a stability. It doesn't. Yeah, fluctuate. it gives me stability in share price and in the, in the di distribution. Yeah. Yes, it's it's you know gone from thirty to fifty cents. Doesn't matter. It's still relatively stable. You know, yeah. like you've got 
I think it's about 18% at the moment or something, the return. Yeah. Like 18%, you get another 2% and you're beating the, you're beating the indexes. Yeah. And that's just one stock. You know, you blend some higher 30, 40, 50, 100% distributions into that, and you're still going to end up with 50, 60, 70% return. Like, it's just nuts. Yeah, it's a, it's a good fund. It is a really good fund. It, yeah. is, it, is, it is my third, it is my third, uh, my fourth week. Uh, it's on my PowerPoint, uh, but it just, yeah. it's just not a priority right now because I'm still, I'm still in what you call a building phase. Uh, yeah. And so when I get when I when I reach my transition to phase three, uh, S Vault gonna come back on my radar, you know. Uh, so yeah. I'm not. You know, my theory is the same. So if if these company are good, they will be there when I'm there, and uh, when I'm ready to transition to uh, phase three, and if these ETF are good, they will be there when I'm there. So uh, so yeah. I, I'm not in a rush to buy it. Um, and that, I think that was my big mistake too at the beginning. And and Maury told me this all the time. Like I had I had at one point almost twelve thousand dollars invested in equity fund like Rivian and Neo and and yeah. SoFi and stuff like that. And uh, last month it's kind of telling me like why? Because I didn't make it. So I didn't make seven thousand in April. Remember I have a plan. I have a goal. What I didn't account for like like I said every time dividends fluctuate. Um, and then, of course, the following week, not even three days later, because uh, as soon as uh, Defiance published their, their dividends, guess what happened? I, I made it. I made I made seven thousand. You know, it's just yeah. it. The, the dividends fluctuate. So three things happen in April. Uh, one, IWNY pay only a dollar versus a dollar forty one. So think about that. Yeah. Uh, Tesla, when they, they paid their lowest amount in a long time. Uh, you know their lowest amount, and, and Clip paid and their lowest actually. amount. You know, and and uh, the only thing hot spot in in April was uh, Connie and and Misty paying four dollar. But however, I have a very small precision. Very, you know, so yeah. So now but I have a bit, yeah. It all helps. Yeah. Here's the thing with with the way you were doing that, and I understand why you were doing it, mm -hmm. and. To most people, it wouldn't have made sense, but I saw what you were doing, yeah. and it was really for the channel you were doing it, even though you weren't deriving an in and you still aren't deriving an income from the channel. Yeah, um, like it's not monetized, so it, you know, moot point. But here's the thing that that struck me with that, and it's only just struck me right now: is that cost you five or six hundred dollars a month by having that twelve twelve thousand tied up in other things? Yeah, yeah, and and that's why I lowered the position. I, 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 so just by me selling out of that position, just putting back into, in into the into my income fund, uh, yeah. without any changes, Charles Schwab using April April dividend amount, it moved to eight thousand dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it, it, I, I get why you do it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, because if, if I don't buy one. SoFi, there's nothing to talk about SoFi. And, and plus, I don't know how to do option trading still. So I do it so I can learn option trading. But uh, guess what? Option trading is not that difficult. It took me no, it's not. Took, took me three months, and, and I click here and there, and I, I figure it out. And then uh, yeah. uh, I want to – now I, I, I don't need to own a two, 300 share to track it. I, one share is good enough to track it because I'm tracking yeah. it for the purpose that I will buy into it when I'm in the position to buy into it, you know? Yeah, but here's the thing. Yeah. You can buy into it at that time and you can buy into it using options. Like, yeah. even if you had to do a leap um, or, or something six months out, yeah. you can dictate the price you want to buy it at. And does it matter if it takes a little bit of time? And the answer is no. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I totally Like, agree. if you're buying long-dated um, options... Yeah. Like if, if 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 you think the price is going to go down, you're going to gain anyway. If you think the price go, is going to go up and it goes up, yeah. well, you know you and, just make more. And here's like, the thing: my income anyway. fund is so high now. I I when I buy the income ETF, I buy them in a hundred stack now. Yeah. You no, know, like like yeah. let's say for example, uh, I need to I need to put uh, I don't know. Let's say let's say you you. 
you and I discuss Google. I'm just using an example, you know, like, yeah. uh, let's say Google is just like, okay, this is the stock to buy for this month. I can boo, I literally can buy a hundred stack of Google now. Yep. Not, no, I mean one, uh, one contract or, one, or at least a hundred share, you know? Yeah. One, yep. And I'm not able to do that months ago. Oh, oh, last year, no. definitely. I, last year, I was like, okay, I got to build to it. You know, I got to work my way. You know, I got to work my way to get to 100 share. Now I, now it's just like, uh, I just drop 100 share on anything. And guess what? A year from now, I can do it. Not only I can drop 100 share, but I can do more, more 100 share. I can buy like yeah. almost 10 of them at least, you know? If I'm making $10,000 a month, I can put 100, 100, 100, 10 of them. And, and guess yeah. what? That's why it's not, I'm, that's why I'm not worried. If I want to buy SoFi, I can literally drop 100 share, more than 100 share because it's only $6, you know? <laughs> like, people with options, um, yeah. and this is my perspective, okay? Yeah. Let's say you own a thousand, a, pick a, a share. It doesn't really matter for yeah. the example. It matters if you're going to do options on it. Yeah. But let's say you buy 100 Google or 100 Tesla yeah. or a hundred Rivian or pick your poison, yeah. you know, so long as there's a decent options chain on it, that's all you want. Yeah. Okay. So, um, or even one of these high dividend yield style funds, um, options are becoming available on them too, or already have on some of them. Yeah. Um, you can use that to generate additional yield on top of the yield they're paying you each month and you already have the shares for it. So, you know, um, there's something to be said for that. Um, Mark, uh, I'll use the YouTube name, Retire on Dividends. Mm -hmm. he, he has his wheel strategy do that he does on, on his options. Yeah. His option, you know, and it just makes sense. You can use those shares that you currently own another way to generate more income. Yeah. Think about that, you know. Um, and it could be any share that has a decent options market. You know what you need is liquidity for that so some shares don't lend themselves to it and others do but you can pick it whatever price level you can say a hundred bucks and it's google or whatever the price of google is today or tesla at you know 180 bucks or yeah. whatever you know or you can pick a stock that's 20 bucks but it's got a good options chain you know and you can get your wheat your feet wet with it in a small parcel, buy one options chain. Sure, you might only make 20 bucks or 30 bucks. Yeah. But you're teaching yourself as you go. You know, it, it's one thing to have all the theory in your head, but it's another thing to pull the trigger and do the buy or the sell or the option, you know, mm -hmm. or do a. Um, uh, like, it's a no brainer. If you have the time, you need to be able to watch it, though. Yeah. Um, for, for, for things that are a week, you know, I know you work through the day. Um, I do too at the moment, so it, it doesn't work for me right now. But it's the one thing I'm going to do when I put my feet up on the desk and properly retire. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to go back and do options. It's it's in the cards for me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like I, I can't wait to do I want to I want to do options. Uh, when when I retired, you know, uh, and completely just not working anymore, uh, and I'm on the beach somewhere, um, what I'm going to yeah. do is, you know, on a on because I, I can see myself getting bored. So an hour an, an yeah. hour in my morning, or you know, before we step off, you know, go go scuba diving. People don't realize how much I like scuba diving. Uh, my my other YouTube channel is called Crypto OKI. The the OKI. It came from the scuba diving community, and uh, and crypto is my call sign. Nothing to do with cryptocurrency. It's my military call sign, and uh, yep. and and so you know, so it's a uh, you know, I, I love scuba diving. I want to spend some time, but you know, that's a, that's an all day event. That's like golfing. You go play golf is all day event too, especially you hang out at the country club, eating lunch, and just chilling, talking to people, uh, and and so. You know, you it's gonna it's gonna take time, but guess what? I want to do with some of the my spare some of these time. I wanna I wanna 
I want to do some option trading, set up my trade, go play golf, jump into scuba diving, go hiking, stuff like that, you know. And, and, and it just keep me keep me entertained, you know. Keep have yeah. something to think about. Have something to have something to a thought process. Uh, that's one thing you know. I listen to a lot of the military guys who are not working anymore, and they always talk about man the the the, the first two years you just your mind you just you 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 don't know what to do with it. Because you just yeah. because they they so they come from such a high tempo environment, and now you just now you just relax. It's hard to relax because your brain's always constantly just working all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh. You know something. Yeah. I I like your strategy. We'll we'll do option trade. Yeah. Look. <laughs> I get a lot of time to think, um, just sit and chill. And like when when you climbed into Discord tonight, I'll, I've been doing some research for a little while just on what I'm going to do next. You yeah. know, like as I set up for this file, I'm looking at Devo, SCHD, um, yeah. TLTW, um, some in the mid teens, somewhere around there, some smaller ones that I'll hold smaller positions in. You you know what? Uh, um, there, there's a couple funds. This is this is my debate for uh, Monday, uh, the start of the YouTube channel. I mean, I'm sorry, it's the start of the our discussion is what to do with what you know for Monday. You know, like um, the more I think about it, man. Okay, so what is my weakness? So my 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 strength is. Is that uh, the goal is to generate ten thousand dollars a month, and so far my strength is is the yield max on the second week. It's giving me four thousand dollar. It's predicted to give me four thousand this month based on the decoration, and then um, yep. and then I get one thousand eight hundred. Uh, that you look, we're looking at uh, five thousand eight hundred in by Wednesday, okay? Right? And yeah, there's a couple options here. Uh, the first option is I can grow uh, I can grow my third week because my third week is really bad right now. It's it's I, I'm not making any uh, I made maybe almost four hundred dollars. That's it, you know, roughly. And uh, yep. and but I wanna get to a thousand so this way I have I have decision points. So I can I can do something because every time I get the third week I, I literally go almost two weeks uh, you know because because yield max pay me so so close to the second week, uh, uh, no, not not late second week, but the beginning of the second week. So you, essentially, yeah. I go like two weeks without buying anything because I have no yeah. money. Um, you know, Can for make a third week. You know. Can I make a suggestion. Yeah. Let's say you get ten thousand a month. Yeah. Okay, make it eight thousand. The math's just as easy. Yeah. Okay, there's four weeks in a month. Yeah. Split it in four. You're going to spend two thousand bucks a week, or you're going to invest more appropriately two thousand bucks a week yeah. each week, yeah. regardless of what your income is, so long as it's higher than the eight grand projected for the month. Yeah. And then it doesn't matter what week your money comes in. You know, you've got eight grand for the month. On average, there's four weeks in a month. You yeah. know, some months have a, an extra. Yeah, that that requires some self discipline, and I don't have self discipline at the moment. <laughs> what you do? What you do? You're a marine, god damn it! <laughs> yeah, because it's tempting, you know. You got, you got, like for example, you got ULTY at fifteen dollars. Just call my name. <laughs> yeah. Or you got, call, you, know you got Misty MSTY is calling my name right now. It's like at third at thirty one dollar. Yeah. Can I just say something to you? Yeah. And, I, and I know you think they're expensive, but I'm just looking at Coney, Misty, and Invidi right now. Yeah. And they're pretty much bang in the middle of their 52 week range. So I wouldn't call that expensive. Yeah. I would call that their value. Considering. Yeah. Well, paying, oh, I think Nvidia has know, some strong value. 80 to 100%. See, this is this, this what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You you just throw, you just throw more monkey into the, my. my my, yeah, uh, my engine here because I'm trying to 
Okay, just think about this. I'm looking at NVD. Okay, that's the third week was my first choice. That's ULTY, Y Max, Y Max. Okay, those are my three choices. Yep. And now, but what, what, what? The reason I'm talking about this, the reason my struggle is really Misty, NVD, and Connie. Exactly what you just said. Yeah. Okay. Let me look, let me tell you. Let me show you why. Look at look at uh, NVD. It's twenty six dollars. Yeah. That's my average, yep. and it's sitting yep. at my average right now. What's yep. What what do you so think I should do? You're just used to them starting at 20 bucks and dropping a bit and then going up a bit and dropping a bit more. And that's not the way these three work. And that's yeah. why I picked those three. I okay. I should put some money in NVD. Uh, what's NVD pay this month? Uh, it was like... Oh, give me a second. I'll tell you. Uh, let me, I've let got me go a variety look. here. I know you post it. Uh, let me go look at it real quick. Too. Yeah. Um, it paid $1.20. $1.19.88. So that price um, on 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 Monday, that price is going to come down to twenty five yeah. something. Yeah, twenty. Uh, what did you say it was? Twenty six fourteen. It's yeah. going to be under twenty five. Like technically speaking, it should be like twenty four ninety three or something. Yeah, it's good. It's probably going to go up still. So because it's up trend right yeah. now, so it's going to be like twenty five by the time I'm able to buy it. Yeah. You know, it's that's way below my average right now. And so guess and what? I I can DCA down with it. I can own a really good stocks, uh, good precision, yeah. and kabam, you know. So I have twenty one share right now. So I need nine uh, seventy nine shares. So roughly, I, um, can I just say something, Camille? Yes. yes. Can, can I ask you to look at this all differently? Sure. Rather than looking at when they pay, look at what they pay, and make the decision based on what they pay. Okay. And here's the thing. I know you get paid monthly, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I know you can friggin' budget. Yeah. And you told me before you couldn't. So <laughs> work out how much it is you're going to earn in, in dividends for the month. Yeah. Split it in four and buy some each week. Well, no, I'm, I'm, right, right now problem. I'm in good position because the first week and second, my first week I'm making almost 2000 I can literally buy a lot. I mean, two, you mean? But I want to get my yeah, third week and fourth week to be in the same situation where, yeah. But in your second week, you get you, you could buy across two weeks. You don't have to buy the day you get the money. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's so tough. You know, you know. it's you, so. It, this you, is like you shop week. Dude, you, this you is like asking shop. my. It's like asking my wife to go to uh, to uh, uh, you know a a London mall or you know one of those good malls and, in and window shop and ask her not to buy anything. She, there is, yeah. no, it's impossible. She will come out of that mall with something in her hand. It's impossible. She, so, so, so the only thing to do is don't go to the mall. If you don't want her to buy something, don't take her to the mall, you know, because you take her to the mall, she's going to buy something, you know? I can't, I can't window shop. <laughs> so I just don't go to shops. If I can get something at a drive through I get it through a drive through yeah. I don't care whether it's coffee or whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know? Um, we don't eat out a lot at fast food, and yeah. if if we do have fast food, it, it you know from Macca's or KFC or whatever, um, it's delivered. I don't go there. I just don't walk into shops willy nilly yeah. because I can't window shop. It bores me to tears. Yeah. If I need something, I'll go to like a big hardware store like your Lowe's, our yeah. Bunnings. I'll go in, get what I want, and get out. Yeah. But I I just really can't. But yet, with stocks, researching is different. Yeah. So I'm looking at why I should buy them and why I shouldn't buy them and yeah. weighing up the pros and cons of each. So NVD, I can get 79 share, get me to 100. You know, at least the, the goal is to get to 100 at a time. I, for this month, mm -hmm. I can get to 100 share and it will be in my budget, all right? Uh, because I already have yep. 21 share. And not only that, it brings my cost average down. And then Misty, okay, now you look at it, if I was to buy Misty, uh, so I can use the second week money because there's only a couple of days. I don't know, I can rebalance around and stuff like that. But uh, Misty is $31, I need 60 shares, okay? So 60 times, hmm. and it's gonna be about $2. Misty, buy. pay how much? I, two point um, five. Uh, yeah, two so, point. So, five two or something. Yeah, so that two point five coming out of thirty one seventy, 
So that's going to be, what is the price? 31 roughly, and this thing is a fast mover, so it may not maintain that. It's not 800 bucks to get 60 shares, round figures. Yeah, about $29 or so, all right? So $29, and guess what? That's within also my cost share average. My cost average is 28, but that's okay. I don't mind going up a little bit. And and guess what? I can get 60 shares, okay? 60 share 29. All right, let me do the math real quick at 29. How much can I get? Uh, yeah, it's within my budget also. So I'm, I'm writing, I need 60, sh I need 60 share, $1,740, also within my budget. Can and then you got Coney. Make... Huh? Yeah, I know. I was gonna say, can I make another comment? Yeah. You're, you're fixated on getting to 100 shares of each of these? Yeah. Okay, why don't you split it down and do it over a couple of months? And you're DCAing then, you might pay a little bit more sometimes and a little bit less other times. But on average, you're going to get them there together. What, so what if it takes What do you mean by split? Like, like, um, in, like... In, instead of putting, say, two grand into Misty, uh -huh. why don't you put a grand into Misty and a, and a grand in, into Coney, and then the next time you've got a grand spare, put it into NVIDIA if that's what you want to do. Oh, but yeah, 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 that's, yeah that, than, that makes sense too. That makes really good sense. I mean, you just you not, know. yeah. I, it, it, well, should I split way three way with that. Coney? Uh, mm -hmm. Coney pay, yep. what, Coney pay, what's the amount for Coney? $2.28? Uh, wow. Yep. How does Coney ma manage to maintain such a high, what yeah, is I the know, difference right. between Coney and MSTR that, that's just crazy. Uh, huh? can I, huh? There's a, a trading company underneath both of them, but the trading company doesn't have as much Bitcoin on its books. Like, you think about it, MicroStrategy has 1% of all Bitcoin that will ever be produced already on its books. They've got 214,000 and a bit Bitcoin on their books. You know, that's worth about $13 billion, yeah. I think. Um, Coinbase has about half a billion dollars worth, so they've got one twenty-six, and that's why when Bitcoin goes on a tear, either up or down, um, MicroStrategy's share price moves so much, and so Misty's does as well. So should I split my uh, three ways then? I mean, that's I mean because yeah, yeah. Like seriously, I would do unless you wanted to do. Here's the thing, mm -hmm. unless you wanted to do options now, then I can see sense in piling to get to the 100 shares no, as quick as you possibly I, can. Yeah, I don't need to do that but now. if you're not doing that, then it doesn't matter, mate. It's a bit like when you get paid. If you just divide what you think your, your dividends are going to be, mm -hmm. divide it by four, you don't care when they get paid either. Yeah. You know? And so that way you can load your portfolio with more or less dividends based on what you want. Yeah. You know, like, it'd be nice to have everything in, at the moment in Misty and Coney, but I don't know any of us would be that silly to do that. You know, we talk about being all in on one, but we're all in on the family of these things. Yeah. You know? Yep. Um. It is what it is. So I don't care if they pay me on the 1st of the month or the 30th of the month or the 15th of the month. As long as they pay me, I'm good. That's all I'm interested in. I can do the rest yeah. just like you can. I can budget just like you can. Does it always work out exactly? No. But it's close enough for me. That's an interesting uh, interesting consideration, you know, that... Interesting. Very interesting choice. Now you just add more, more, more decision cycle in my. <laughs> all I'm, all I'm here to do is help you think in the, in, in the ways that I think make sense for you. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I got, I got the third week dilemma. I got the, I got essentially these guys dilemma. But, but this helped answer the question because, well, what you thought about, I already thought about it. It's, it's already on my yeah. matter of fact. It's on my. Couple of video I always talk about when I have these uh, four choices that I I'm struggling with, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know. So because because I want to take advantage of the X date. Why do you buy on the X date? 
You know, Otherwise, just buy it on any date. You know, just buy it on the date that you just, you, you know, when, you, when you're ready to buy it. So the reason you buy on the X date is you take advantage on that price decoration, the known price decoration, a known date, and you're putting money into it on a known, unknown time. It, it's 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 the only it's the only thing that is like kind of like close to assurance uh, than uh, in the in the stock market. <laughs> yeah. And look, your blended rate across your portfolio will be whatever you want it to be, given what these guys pay. Yeah. And it doesn't matter whether it's you know, the defiance funds or the yield max funds or the curve funds or, you know, it, it just doesn't matter. Um, yeah. You pick the stocks that are giving you the return that you want and you're not all in on any one. So overall, you'll have a blended rate of, I don't know, maybe 50% or something. If you were all in on two stocks, your, your blended rate would be up over 100% at the moment yeah. because it would be Misty and Coney because they've been paying the highest. Yeah. You know, yeah. So you can dictate what your return across your blended portfolio is, just by being mindful of what you allocate to each stock. Well, here, here here's something here's something crazy too. Um, I mean, QQY and IWY, their price is pretty low, and they're paying a dollar forty, a dollar, and oh well. Uh, IWY is paying a dollar more than more than a dollar. Oh, forty one. Yeah, dollar forty one. forty one. Yeah. So, mm. I mean, it's it's a fifteen dollar price. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it, like seriously, if it was thirty bucks, it would have paid two dollars eighty, and it's better than Coney and and Misty this month. It's, uh, seriously, and even. Even even on a rough day, holy cow! That that stock is uh, like, I don't know. That stock is unbelievable. It's been paying a dollar every single since yeah. inception. A dollar dollar fifteen to a dollar twenty on average. Yeah, that's why I like it. Yeah, it's why I haven't sold out of it. And we've got to remember mm -hmm. that they're based on indices. Mm -hmm. And the indices have gone down a little bit, so you've got to expect their share price to go down a little bit. Mm -hmm. But their dividends remain pretty constant. Yeah. So it's stable. I like that. Yeah. Do I care that they're not the highest paying ones? No. No, Q no, no, QQY do really, really well too. I mean, between yeah. both those two. Um, yeah. Like, it is what it is. They're going to be more stable in share price and in distributions, I think than any of the single stock ETFs. You know, yeah. and that was one of the things that, that drew me to s -Vault, is that it's stable. Yes, I know I'm not going to get the same return. You know, I might get 15, 18 yeah. percent at the moment on it. But I don't care about that. It's what I can do with that over a bit of time. And it might take me two years, but it might get to 25 percent. Who knows? But I'm going to try it. And still, even if that was my worst performing um, kicker, 25%, you couldn't get that 12 or 18 months ago, yeah. two years ago. You know, you just couldn't. Not on a single kicker. Yeah. Unless you were growth investing. And then, yes, there's some that have done amazing and others that have, have gone down the toilet. But it is what it is, you know. But stable share price relatively and stable dividend relatively. So. You know what? Uh, you know what's a shocker too is um, is like Facebook, uh, you know, Enfly. You know, some of these guys. You know, they've been they've been around almost. They're going to reach their one year here soon, and mm. and they've been they've been high. They've been contributing at a high pace too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have been. Um, like, I don't mind them. I don't like them as much as others because I'm not a, a fan of, you know, it is what it is for me, okay? Mm -hmm. But things like 
Like, I'm not in WiMAX or WiMAG, but I'm in ULTY, ULTI, you know. Yeah. Um, why did I pick that? Because I did. Yeah. Um, I didn't want a basket of the top seven stocks. Um, if I wanted a basket of the top seven stocks, I'd go out and buy those stocks myself and not worry about the distribution side of it. If if you have if you have three choices uh, between Misty, Coney, and NVD, all right, those might. Yep. Uh, I'm thinking about this. Uh, th this is what I'm thinking right now, and I probably end up doing this more so than anything else. Uh, the 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 money that I have now, that I'm going to get on Monday, I'm gonna buy Misty. I'm just gonna get Misty, and then. Yep. And then I call it a day on that one, and and done. Then of course, yep. uh, Yield Max going to pay me on on, a, on Wednesday, and I'm going to take that Wednesday money. If any of these prices remain the same, or that you know remain the same uh, as of Monday, I will jump into one of the Yield Max again, like like Coney or 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 NVD for Maybe example, right? Yep. Um, but yep. if if not, then I'm gonna take that that four thousand dollars. But I don't need to spend all four thousand. I just need to spend, you know, two two thousand. So then I'm gonna yeah. buy my third week. That's a combination because I don't need, I don't, I don't need to spend all two thousand just on ULTY. But I that's a combination ULTY, Y Max and Y Max to grow those three. Uh, so two thousand. So essentially, I, I free myself. For two, I have two thousand in reserve. Uh, what have you just done? What have you just done? I, I can grow my hold position in Misty. Yeah, you grow your position in Misty, and you said, I'm going to hold some money back. You know what that's called, Sunshine? Budgeting. <laughs> okay, I just need to get you a little further step along the line. You don't need to worry about week three. You need to worry about all four weeks and make sure you get your eight grand this month. Yeah, yeah, that's the goal. That's, that's what the goal. you really need to work on. That's the goal. Like at the end of the day, does it matter which stocks you own? No, as long as you get that eight grand. No, that's now, your target, now right? one thing you did, the one thing you brought some sense to me is this: I need to the, the the problem I run into is because I run out of money because I spend all my money. It's not the third week problem. It's just I, I spend all my money. So if if I save two thousand dollars from my second week, just just yeah. and wait for what do I what do I save my money for is to give opportunity to buy because third week a lot of these yeah. price it drop and you know what you're DCAing better yeah so Seriously. now on the third week if something come up and that drop drop a lot in terms of its, its value for that day let's say NVD has a bad or let's say Misty or let's say you know Bitcoin just drop you know ten percent guess what Misty's coming down guess what I'm in position to buy because I have two thousand sitting there now. That's right. I didn't have it, and that's the frustration. It's nothing oh. to do with the third week. It's just that I didn't allocate the money. Uh, I didn't. I didn't set aside the money for the third week. You shouldn't. You shouldn't run out of money, except for maybe a few days while you're growing your account. Yeah. Because you need to be in a position where if something happens, you can take advantage. All right. So, Misty, it is, and then. And then I will leave it alone. And then uh, on Wednesday, um, we'll take a look at. I, I will tell you too. On Wednesday, I may not spend any money because it's not the X date of ULTY. So guess what? I'm I'm going to hold four thousand dollar for mm -hmm. one of two things. If ULTY drop to drop this price, and then I may buy it, or or Connie drop its price, or anybody drop their price in in addition on Monday. So Monday would be the oh, baseline. Yeah, so essentially I'm holding, I'm holding $4,000 until the third week. Can I, can I get you one further step along this journey? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's just say we were in a relatively flat market. Yeah. Okay. It's not going up. It's not going down. It, it's staying relatively stagnant. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay for options, but not good for much else. Yeah. Okay. Um, think about this. You're going to get to your 100 shares regardless of whatever happened. Yeah. 
okay? Now, think about it logically. What happens on Monday? We've got the yield max X date. Yeah. Let's say it's a relatively flat market for this yeah. month, okay? Yep. Just let's say that. Why wouldn't you split your purchases uh -huh. across the three yield max funds, Misty, Coney, and Nvidi? So you got them at their lowest price. Okay, okay, that's 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 fair. Yeah. Okay. Let's just say we knew the market was going to stay flat. It's not going to, but let's just say that. You know, or there'd be slight movement one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. We know that the stock price drops by the amount of distribution and then it fluctuates based on whatever the underlying is doing that day. Okay. So you could be down a little bit more in, in the share price of one or all three of those, or you could be up a little bit or a lot, depending on what happens with Bitcoin for Kony and in and um Misty, you know. So again, don't do what I say, but think about it logically. Um, and I'm just trying to make you think here. That's all I'm here to do. I don't want to talk you into anything. I don't want to talk you out. No, no, anything. no. At the end of the okay. day, I'm the one who pushed the button. But these are good discussion yeah. because what you're doing is yeah. you add you add something. No, because if you if you do think tank all by yourself, you're not really thinking anything yeah it's an echo chamber yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is yeah you got to think with people that's why we have the discussion yeah. you know we, we 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 can have all the great ideas in the world with ourselves yeah but, but when we go to put them into practice sometimes they're just not as great as we thought you know and so why wouldn't you spread that purchase and buy instead of buying 60 of misty why wouldn't you just buy for argument's sake 20 of each yeah yeah that makes sense. And or, then or how about this? Since, money, I, since I already have a you lot get of some money the next week. Hang on. You get some money the next week, and that's four grand. Yeah. Okay. So, ulti goes X the next week. So, you've got some money to cover your ulti purchase. Yeah. And you've still got some money there if you want to buy more Misty Coney and Nvidia. Yep. And then it's only the fourth week to worry about. Well, you got more money next month as well. Yeah. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. All I want you to do is think through logically what yeah. it is you're trying to do yeah. and how soon you get there. Yeah. That's all. Well, here's something. Here's something. I mean, out of those three, Coney has the biggest position. Uh, I have 500 shares of Coney. Should mm -hmm. I just put in Misty and, and, and VD and just leave Coney alone? Or Maybe, just... if that's what you want to do, bud. If that's what you're... <laughs> yeah. I... Because then I, grew, then, I grow up, and then I grow the other position uh, to eventually going to reach Coney's level of 500 share. The, the, yeah. the, the advantage I have for Coney is the price value is so low. I bought it at $21. Yeah. Here's, the, here's something about Coney people don't understand. I made my money a long time ago with Coney. Like yeah, yeah. Because Coney pay me, you just think about five, I thought almost double its price every single time, right? And um, and so I already made its money. I love Coney. I love Coney a lot. I uh, yeah, I, I do too. I, I wish I have. I wish I wish it was the opposite. Like my Tesla is in Coney. You know, like three thousand Coney instead of three thousand. Well. What what inspired me to get Coney was uh, when I saw Kenny's folder. We we have the same portfolio. We have the same uh, total yeah. total investment. I think you know uh, you know total amount of money in 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 the account. I I, I can't remember during the time we had fifty thousand dollar. You know, so fifty thousand dollar. He had fifty thousand dollar, but he has Coney. No, they didn't have MSTY. They, they, Coney was the biggest thing, and he he essentially has three thousand Coney. I have three thousand Tesla. So it's like the opposite of my yep. portfolio, and he was generating yep. like eight thousand dollars a month, and I was generating like three thousand dollars a month. I'm, I'm like, what the yeah, for whatever? Yeah. So he um, obviously he knew what to buy. You know, none of us knew in the beginning, and and remember, I didn't get in till 
late April or early May or yeah. something into test. Um, none of us knew how these things were going to track. Like we thought we had an idea. Yeah. And if 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 Tesla had done what it had done, you know, the prior twelve or eighteen months, yeah. all of this talk around Tesla being a crap stock would be a moot point. Yeah. You know, or if Tesla started two months ago, this would all be a moot point. Oh, like because it was one of the first ones, there was a lot of hype around. It. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 that's that's a yeah. that's a point that people who who just came into our the tourists that came into our channel, they, what yeah. they see is is like I got a lot of Tesla. I didn't buy Tesla last night. I bought Tesla over two years span, you know. Yeah. So that's why my share is the way it is, and it was the only choice. It like the for a long, long time, you know, because Conan didn't come on strong until August or September, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, or any any fun, but if if Tesla at sixty eight dollar a uh, sixty eight cents open now, let's say they they just a new fund. We just we just created a new fund called Tesla last month. Guess what? It's gonna it's gonna have to compete against all these other one, and just just like yeah. everything else, it have to compete for my time for my resources. And no, I, I'm not gonna put my money into Tesla. It's gonna it, I will, but it's just not gonna be a large amount. It's going to be sitting like like yeah. AMZ, or oh, not AMZ, like uh, probably like Jeppy, H E J E P Y, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it has to um, compete because this other fund right now is doing much better. But I but I think it's seasonal and trend. This is something that we have to be in active trading. So right now, yeah. this is the month. This is the 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 season for. Misty, Connie, and VD. <laughs> and it's Bitcoin season. It's crypto season, and we yeah, know it's that crypto because. Season. Of, uh, Look, we, we can look at history, and this is going to be different this time because of institutions, and that's yeah. okay. Yeah. I think that's only going to help the cause. You know, um, it is what it is. But what, what Tesla taught us that got into it in the near the beginning, you yeah. know, within the first six months, it, it's now taught us that we need to DCA into it. And even if you're DCAing up, that's yeah. okay. You know, yeah. like... Even after all the crap that people talk about it, it's still paying its average fifty. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it. It is so difficult to. It, yeah, I know. Like, it's so difficult to dethrone Tesla. People don't understand that. That and people say, look at nav erosion, nav degradation, and all that sort of stuff. And and to a point, they have a point. But that's not the whole thing. If they treated it as an annuity. It would be a whole different story. Like you might get four or five percent from an insurance company when you buy an annuity. Put in a million dollars, and they'll probably give you forty thousand dollars a year. Put in a million dollars into Tesla, and they'll give you five hundred thousand dollars a year. You know, mm -hmm. it's an order of magnitude better. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. People just can't see that. Do I care if I don't get my principal back? No, I'm going to get some of it back, but it's doing a job for me. Yeah. Like, I am all but a few bucks away from it paying for itself. Like, the next dividend will see me playing with house money, for want of better words. Not yeah. free money, but house money. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're all going to get you know, we're gonna get return on investment here. and uh... Yeah. Like you, you're not far away. You can only be a few months away from it, mm -hmm. if that. So, you know, um, it is what it is. But, but I'm not saying to people that there aren't some bad things about the stock. There is. But it's the same with all of these stocks. We are in the hands of what the market does. And with Tesla, just like Clip, we're, like Clip's dropped from 25 bucks. It's now trading... Oh, the share price is fourteen sixty six, so it's gone down ten bucks. Um, Tesla's done something, or Tesla's done something similar. But you've got to remember, the share price of Tesla when Tesla came out was three hundred bucks, and now it's one hundred and eighty bucks. So you you've got to take the good with the bad. And through all of that, they've paid an average of fifty percent. I don't know what else to say, like. Would I prefer that the share price had stayed flat? Yeah. I'd have preferred it to gone up 100% like Misty did. 
But yeah. it's a moot point because share prices move and they move irrespective of what the company is doing. It's the herd mentality. It's the fear and greed in the market that dictate the share price, not the value of the share. And there's a huge difference there. Well, here's, here's something to think about, Tesla. I'll do the calculation here. I, I can't remember how much I put in to it because I, uh, I already sold the original lot. Uh, you know, because yep. when, when I when I rebalance things, I, I when I sell, I always sell, you know, first in, last out and stuff like yep. that. So there's no way to go back and look at the history what you what you what you buy. But I think I spend like roughly around seven hundred dollars on Tesla, the the initial Tesla. So what I'm talking about yep. is um because what I'm talking about I only made thirty thirty dollar so uh let me go back to twenty twenty three. So so here it is, I made $35. So $30, which is, is like Tesla. And I bought it somewhere in March in order to get paid in 30. All right, so somewhere around March, I bought my my first Tesla stocks. And I remembered, I, 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 the only reason I remember in March is I bought it somewhere when the bank collapsed. When the bank collapsed during that time, that's when I put it yep. in. Um, so it's about $700, all right? $700, uh, uh, and so I had thirty dollars in March. So how many months is that since March? So April, May, June. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Uh, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's fourteen months. Going to fourteen months here. Okay. Right? So thirty dollar times fourteen months. It's four hundred twenty dollars. All right. I'm I'm much closer to pay off that return on investment from that initial purchase of Tesla. Just think about that. Yep. And that that thirty yep. dollars a month, that first video I made, I made thirty dollars a month. That, that that money, that Tesla is still the engine. Tesla is still the engine in my portfolio. It's what contributes the most yeah. money. And uh, and but if you if you take uh, when when do I reach uh, let's say thirty dollar. Uh, Thirty dollar time twelve, right? Uh, time twenty four. Three sixty, yeah. That's seven hundred twenty dollars. So, in two years, it paid for itself. It paid for itself. Yep. You know, and and a lot of people that during that time, Tesla price is very expensive. Oh no! Yeah. If my cost average is higher, that means I bought at the highest point, and um. But if you if you look at guys who you know, it's just unbelievable how much. Uh, uh, they, you know, that eventually that that's for my original purchase. Uh, I'm 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 almost there. Like I'm three, I'm more than halfway there, three quarter of the way there now. You know what I mean? Here's here's an observation I've made while you've been talking there, and I've been listening to you. Okay, I want to go back to Nvidia and Nvidia. Yeah. NVIDIA has been around 12 months this month. It started in May. Yeah. Okay. So the 52-week low is $19.60 and the 52-week high is $31.31. Yeah. The 52-week high on NVIDIA was $9.74 and we're at $8.87 at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Have a punt at what the 52-week low was. Uh, I don't know. I'll tell you. Yeah. Two seventy two forty. Wow. That's a four, uh, not quite four times a four yeah. X in price. Wow. On Nvidia. So if you buy on the low pot on the low price. Yep. Yeah. Imagine me buying Tesla on the low price. I didn't know. So that's yeah, what, I, you know. Like this is the thing I don't. <laughs> yeah. My average cost right now, as we talk, is sixteen dollars and four on Tesla. Yeah. Its share price is at fifteen dollars ninety three. Yeah. You know, nine cents away. Yeah. Uh, Eleven cents away. Sorry, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely. And don't how care. much? Have I got? Yeah. But I, I literally don't care, guys. Like <laughs> for those that are listening, I want to talk about Nav erosion. 
yeah. I don't care. I'm not seeing what you see in my portfolio. Yeah. I don't care what happened when it first came out at 20 bucks. Yeah. I care about how I am optimizing my portfolio that yeah. suits me. Yeah. Now, having said that, I've had uh, 12 months to, uh, or 13 months of distributions as well. And that's a substantial sum of money. Well, I like the way you play it, though, because you play it differently from me. Uh, because you save your cash, you save your 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 uh, yeah. yield max or tesla income, and yeah. then you and then you throw it you throw it down uh, when at the lowest point. Uh, so you yeah. you, you throw thirty thousand dollar back down uh, when when it reached you know eight dollar nine dollars something like that you know. I, I like, just buy it incrementally it, with with it, go down with it. Uh, but but the thing is, I use my money to build my the rest of my portfolio. So once I reach yeah. three thousand dollars, I don't I don't I don't even remember that I said, hey, once I reach three thousand dollars, I no longer need to contribute to Tesla anymore. He, here's know? the thing that people don't realize: yeah. the fifty-two week low and the fifty-two week high yeah. are the closing trade. Yeah. Okay, that's what it is. That yeah. doesn't mean they didn't go under or above that for a period of time. Yeah. Like quite frequently, I've bought Tesla at the low of the day. Yeah. And and it's it, you don't see it in the fifty-two week high and low. Yeah. You know, you just don't. Yeah. Um. And and when I'm buying a particular ticker. Even if I'm not at home and on my own computer, I've got my phone with me. I can trade on my phone in a heartbeat like you can on your computer, yeah. you know? And I will have the trade set up at the price I want. And then I get a message saying it's gone through and I can breathe a sigh of relief because I, I say don't penny pinch, and I don't. Yeah. If, if, if I miss a trade, I miss a trade. I don't cry over spilt milk. It's an error of omission not of submission uh -huh. and i'd always rather it be that way you know um yep. if i make a mistake i own it it's my money it affects nobody else it is what it is um am i that close on everything no iwmy is the one i'm down the most on but it's paid me the most in dividends so if you look at on balance Mm -hmm. It is the best of the client stocks for me. Even though it's showing more in red. Like, it, it, for the guys that go for total return, will understand this more, more than others. I don't mind seeing red on the screen. I don't mind it at all. As so long as my dividends well and truly cover that, plus the percentage I want on top. So I do look at the total return. So what, but what I don't I mean you brought a good point about the total return question you know like a lot of people like they uh, like oh look at the total return uh, well it's uh, three years from now four years from now Tesla total like just like at some point you're gonna say man that's not a good measurement to good argument to say Tesla sucks you know what I mean Tesla's brilliant like I, I double what the indexes have done at least yeah. total return with Tesla. Like for That's example That's why I don't worry about what it, anybody says to me about it because they're talking about hypotheticals yeah. and I'm looking at the real figures. I, I mean just think and, about and like Q, QYLD. Position, like, yeah. Just imagine QYLD. It's been around since uh like more than 10 years 2014 okay yep. it's, yep. Been, it's years. been around for a long time and of course just like everything it has nav erosion it went from 25 dollars to 17 dollar all right what what's that price but, differences uh let's see 25 dollar let me let me do the math make sure it's, it's correct eight bucks eight bucks okay. eight bucks so you got an eight buck differences but guess what look at the Over dividend. 10 years. that's 80 cents a year who cares <laughs> Seriously. This thing, this thing has made its money. It, it literally it's, it's it, four months. It's four months or five months distributions over ten years. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Can I'll you imagine? Just let the Mac talk to you. Yeah. Can you imagine the QYLD owner? Can you imagine tell tell the QYLD owner that you are losing money? It's on my list to buy. 
Like the decision's made. It's a matter of when now for me. Yeah, that like is, I'm, that I'm, is I'm, crazy. I'm, that is crazy just to, to, you know, for all these anti-yield ma- uh, dividends people, like uh, dividend income yeah. ETF people, and you look at QYLD as an example, and you go like, okay, uh, I'm just trying to understand the logic here. If you take the same logic that you make claim against Tesla sucks right now, apply that to QYLD, w- w- yeah. w- what's, what's the math tell you? Yeah, exactly. You know? And then you're like, oh, well, that is, that thing that thing made its money. <laughs> yeah, the, like, the, the, the owner of QYLD back in May of 20, uh, 2014. Oh no, I'm sorry. What what year was it? I forgot now. When inception? Twenty thirteen, December twenty thirteen. The owner of QYLD, whatever amount they put in at twenty thirteen. All right, that guy is living. He's he he's just he's just collecting money from the tree. <laughs> Yeah, like it's it's just raining money from the sky, even on QYLD. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, what is it, 17 bucks a share or something at the moment? Yeah. And they're paying, I don't know, oh, well, there you go, 17 cents a pay, it's most recent one. Yeah. So it, it, it's paying 1%. Yeah. That's 12% a year plus. Yeah. Like if, if, if you snowball at 12%, yeah. It becomes, you know, fifteen percent, yeah. and that's just by reinvesting your distributions each month. Yeah. Because you got twelve percent extra next month, and then you it's, know it's, it's crazy that they they run these math number these numbers, and I say, okay, I, I don't have any. Okay, good. Take that number and apply QYLD, XYLD, all these other historical fund, and that's been around longer. I mean. It's easy. To, it's easy to piss on something that's only a few months old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why do you take well, that number and apply it to a twelve months old? <laughs> I can give. I can give you. I can give anybody a decent argument both ways on any of these funds. Yeah. I really can. But either you're going to use it and abuse it, which is what I choose to do, and that's why I work my portfolio the way I do it. And I, I'm not. You know, there, there's I'm one no dude. There's one that. dude. He uh, he he pulled an Excel spreadsheet, and he sent it to me. He wanted me to review it, and he said, "Well, Tesla is losing money." I say, "Okay, uh, take that same number, take that same number, and apply to Coney, and to see where it's at." And he said, "Coney's still losing money." I was like, and then I asked him how. I, I want to know how. Okay, <laughs> how is Coney right. losing money? Coney, Coney. Inception price is twenty dollar, okay. Yes. And right now, it's up in it's up in uh, price appreciation. It's twenty four dollar, so you're up four dollar, all right. And yeah. And then not only that, and, you've got this and then up there you're making twelve dollar ninety seven cents of dividend so far. Yeah. No. Or something like That's, that. I, yeah. I haven't added this. I don't know what the total amount so far. I just use. I hope I hope stock analysis is correct in this. But, but the, the question is, <laughs> yeah, can these funds lose money? And the answer is yes. If 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 you want a passive portfolio, yeah. these shares are not for you. Anybody that calls these sorts <coughs> of um, investments passive is like I've had rental properties that I've done less with. There you go. And all I ever did was buy them and sell them. Real estate agents looked after the rest. That's passive to me. I, I, I just, like, all I can say is my IQ is no, no more, no less than the average person, realistically. But I let the math talk to me. And if I can make it make sense, and look, you know, did I do some uni? Yeah, of course I did. But I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm not a microbiologist. It's it's not, you know. But the math for this stuff is so simple. It's it like if you haven't learned it by grade seven, there's a problem. You know, it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and some percentages. That's it. 
Yeah. It is It is really plain and simple. It's like playing chips. You know, yeah, they're a bit salty. Math is a little bit salty for most people. I get it. But it, it's really basic math. Yeah. Anybody can do it. You can't do it in Excel or Sheets. Do it on a piece of paper. Like, I keep notepads beside my computer so I can make notes. And if you have a look through it, it's all math. Because I find it quicker to do it that way than do it in Excel. And once I've done it there and I'm happy with how it looks, then I'll go and put it into Excel. Like, I'm pretty good at spreadsheets. That's what, but, I, that's what I always yeah. tell, like, now, now what I do is people, I, what I tell people now in our Discord is, hey, we don't need to convince anybody. You just we just do no. us, and if they want to if they want to analyze the things, let them do the math. You know, let them do the yeah. math. I don't, we don't care, because because what happened is they they pick and choose out, out of like thirty yeah. something, forty, fifty something, hundred something funds. They pick Tesla, all right, and and to make their argument, and they pick Tesla, and they said, okay, this is why high yield dividend doesn't work. And then when you tell them and said, okay, take the same number and put it on Coney. Or on NVD, on Microsoft, on something else, and then and then they sell. Oh, still doesn't work. That's when you know they're biased, and uh, <laughs> yeah. they're extremely biased well, I, I because they're too argument they make. Like their, their, their argument is the, yeah, the best one of these losers. Yeah, they, they, their argument I, is I, their, I, their <laughs> only argument is price and uh, erosion. Okay, so so QILD yeah. has price erosion the entire time, all ten years. But guess what? It made money. It's only up 80 cents a year. Give me a break. Yeah. You've got, you know, a, a, what's it pay? 17 cents a share yeah. a month, roughly. Who cares? Yeah. And then, you but, know, it's four months, a bit over four months. Yeah. I don't so, care. so what, what, they, what they're betting on all the time is essentially yield max to fail. Uh, but there's no indication. Matter of fact, it's the opposite. Not only indication, it's going up. It's just, just like it's just like the anti. You know, people make my video, YouTube video. Uh, you know, the anti me video. They they're hoping that my video of my that the YouTube will fail. And and, and once they come to realize that I'm not doing it for subscribe or for click, then they no, they, the they kind of realize that. They <laughs> They're doing it for clicks. Like their YouTube in general is monetized. Yeah. yeah. They have, you know, I don't know whether some of them have a paid Discord yeah. or you can buy a spreadsheet or, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. But they, they all have something that they're trying to flog. Yeah. And I think it is so disingenuous yeah. of them. It's not funny. I really do. And and it's just, so it kind of like, it wrote their theory, you know, like, like, I'm I, my YouTube's gonna go away because I choose to go away <laughs> because it doesn't really yeah. it had no no other additional value to to you know to me I keep telling people already that if this is a finance channel if this is a motorcycle uh, YouTube channel I probably try to get as much sponsors as possible and I'm trying to get you know rich because there's no other the 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 finance uh, YouTube channel is about your portfolio. Oh, but I'm I'm showing my portfolio uh, that there is a method, and I'm demonstrating my method to earn some kind of income, and and yes. uh, it's a thesis that I have, and I'm willing to risk my own money to do that, and uh, and and just so you can just watch me go through the process. What I always say is that I'm going to get rich through my portfolio, not through YouTube, and because I'm willing to bet on that, I'm willing to hedge on that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Here's, here's the thing for me. Yeah. You you aren't incentivized by the YouTube algorithm yeah. because you aren't deriving an income. You, you you do not have income turned on. So um, even those that only generate income from YouTube, even if they're a small channel, you yeah. know, a thousand or ten thousand subs. They have the incentive to get clicks yeah. because YouTube will pay them for the more views they get. That's just the way the system works. Yeah. So I could be really conceited and say, okay, let's stir up some drama and, and let's take the Mickey out of someone 
and we'll get more views. I've done that because YouTube pays me. Yeah. Would I do it in real life? Would I go, walk up to a guy that I've had a couple of conversations with in the street and pick a fight with him? And the answer is no, because you get knocked on your ass. Yeah. You know? It's that simple. So for anybody that has a go at anybody else on YouTube, I think is really disingenuous and they're doing their audience a disservice. It really is that simple for me. Yeah, what they don't realize is I think if nothing else for me is that, you know, my YouTube is growing rapidly. And the reason why it's growing rapidly because I'm not, it's because I'm just, I want to create friends and make friends, yeah. friends that I can go visit when I, when I stop working. If I, if I can't go visit you and, and, and we're not in that relationship where that's, that's, a, that's the goal doesn't mean we're all going to be friends. We may not like each other, but that's okay. That's the goal. That's my goal is to be a good, a good dude. So you can, so you can want to go meet me and you want to meet me in, in real life. Yeah, and, exactly. and if, if, if for some reason that's not, that's not happening, guess what you, we, we, you know, like. Me and you know, I shouldn't meet. I shouldn't. Then, then uh, the point is that I'm just not a good person. You know what I mean? And forget about yep. YouTube, about Discord, about anything else. Yep. About anything. Yep. Who cares about that? I'm just not a good dude. You should. Uh, you should. You should. You should be able to invite me uh, to your you know Sunday brunch and and you whether you bring your mom or your wife or your kids and it shouldn't be uh, i shouldn't i shouldn't be feel like oh man maybe i shouldn't invite that guy yeah, but you know what I mean? having said that though too i i agree with you 100 percent there but i'm i'm, I'm not going to come in and i'm not going to come into your house and you're not going to come into my house mm -hmm. and give me a mouth or piss over my life you yeah. know but that's what keyboard warriors that's what people that are wanting the clicks do yeah you know, and that just, I don't know anybody that would do that in real life, quite literally. Well, well what, what happened is I, that... I don't know why people think it's okay to do it online. Yeah, well, and, what happened well, is that they, they get popular, uh, they get they get popular for a short time, and then w and what happened in their Discord, and a lot of Discord community, it, they cannibalize each other. Because you have all yeah. those people, like because we ban we you you sneeze in our Discord the wrong way, we're banning you. Yeah, like you, you, like yeah. some guy just put his name his name in convention. I have no yeah, idea who he is. No idea who he is. Just yeah. a, just his name alone. Okay. He was gone. Yep. Because you can pick any name you want. You can call yourself anything you want, and you choose this name, gone. You know, and yeah. and so because we police, uh, we police our channel. Uh, I guess I don't know what the right word is. Police is a military term for quality control. Yeah, but it is. It's it's it's, it's uh, we want a certain level of decorum and respect. Yes, how people treat each other in Discord and the, even in these these videos that you do. Yeah, you know. And, yeah, a couple that, couple a couple of things people don't understand. Number one. My parents watch my YouTube channel. My my family, my YouTube channel did not start off high yield dividend. My YouTube channel started off as Khmer. I am Khmer. It's about me. <laughs> and and guess who is the number one viewer? My friends, family, and cousins and relatives. I, you know, they watch my YouTube channel. So if they if I'm embarrassed about it, then then I shouldn't be talking about it. I shouldn't be uh, you know, I shouldn't be doing anything that my mom gonna be ashamed about. You know what I mean? Uh, and so, and so that's 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 the one thing. Number two is that for whatever reason, I I didn't choose this, but for whatever reason, a lot of fund managers hang out in our discords, and they they want to be anonymous. They want to see what the grassroots is talking about. They, yeah. They, they always want to talk about, hey, do you want do you want a YouTube? Do you want to have an interview, a conversation? You know what I always say? No, no, because then you use then what you lose is the intensity of the conversation. If we know exactly who you are, it's not going to be the same. Uh, the audience, the people is not going to have. Just come and hang out, and so, you know, just hang out and be a fly on the wall, and listen to the at the grassroots level on the people who buy your funds. But guess what? Yeah. And uh, when you have a lot of professional people hang out, you know. 
these are, so I, I can tell you like you know the type of the 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 companies that the company that's on Twitter's uh, a lot of the companies that okay in order to run an ETF in order to run an ETF you need you need like a whole bunch of things you need marketing you need uh, technology you need software you need engine you need different type yep. of uh, products so you have to hire all these contractors okay all these contractors are literally hanging out with our Discord uh, because why yeah. I met them and uh, and uh, I, I meet all of them uh, you know. And and they hang yeah. out because why why they hang out in our Discord because the fund manager hang out in our Discords, and and so the, yeah, but and, why do they why do they choose to hang out there because we don't put up with crap. Yes, yes, you know, hostility yes. isn't tolerated. They don't want they don't want tolerated. professionalism. Can you can you imagine? You said, hey, I want a T-shirt. I want something from the fund manager. They give it to you. They they like they you don't have to do any yeah. special conversation. They were like. Because we know we 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 police our channel, we we control our Discord and very yeah. tight, very uh, rigid. Because we only want people who's in the high yield dividend space hang out on our high yield. Uh, no dividends. We want people who invest in dividend hang out on our channel and and talk about yeah. dividends, talk about money, talk about all those things that they care about too. You know. Like I'm, I'm happy to talk to anybody about anything most of the time. Okay, yeah. it's that simple, respectful, to the point. Yeah, I'm off a lot. You know, like try and keep it in the right channel. Yeah. You know, if we're talking about investing, look for one with investing on yeah. it. If there's one there specifically for a particular fund, keep it in that fund. Yeah. I, I don't want to go to the general thing, which yeah. is where we all drop into and say hi, yeah. and read an in-depth story about how somebody's looking after their portfolio that yeah. needs to be in the portfolio section yeah. you know yeah um I, I could be able to click like we, we get far too many i used to read every comment i did yeah. i can no longer do that i don't have the time available yeah we the volume of the volume today. of discord traffic is so high especially on monday and tuesday the trading day yeah and, oh this yeah. this week is this week, by the time I look at it, we would have like a thousand, you know, literally my, because I see every message where I'm at, where at, at the administrator level, yeah. it, it, oh my God, the volume is, it's ungodly. You know, it's ungodly. It, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Like it really is. And it like, you know, yes, there might be a thousand people in Discord, but if, if, if half of them only did four or five messages a day, that's yeah. two and a half thousand messages. That's oh, it's more than a thousand now. Our Discord is more than a thousand. Yeah, no. Yeah. I know, but I'm just saying, oh, yeah. like, dumb it down a little bit, make it a bit smaller, and yeah. like, if some, if, if if those five hundred are doing five messages a day, yeah, it's two and a half thousand messages you got to read, yeah, and some of them are in short, like, g'day, how you going, and other ones are, you know, fifteen line, yeah, some of them write, so some of them write poetry, <laughs> they write long, complex, yeah, I know, uh, um. And, 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 and I'm going to point Lion out here because he does such an el he has such an elegant way with words. I can do what he does with words with math. Yeah, I'm nowhere near as eloquent as he is, yeah. and I appreciate. Oh yeah, really you read Lions. Uh, you read some yeah. of the some of the justification. Uh, oh my God, it's, him, him it's, and I are like brothers from another mother. Seriously. <laughs> And 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 the third one. So uh, there's three things that why I, I focus on professionalism and quality control. One, uh, let me recap again. One is because my parents, my family watch it, and and you always want to be professional in front of gods, your parents, and your wife, you know, or your you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then second, uh, the second one is because there's actual professional people hanging out in our channel, uh, and they want to hear what their their consumer. Is is buying and and trading and selling? What's their interest? Um, and then the third one is, um, and this is it. This is my personal. Is my personal is that I would like I said at the end of the rainbow, I I want to jump into my cyber truck and I want to go visit all those people. Uh, I'm gonna go visit Padma. I'm gonna go visit Jimmy and all everybody and and uh, you know I, I want to go visit you know and I definitely like Matt. He's on he's on the on the list. Um, yeah, uh, and, and if uh, we come over, you're on the list. It's that simple. 
I, I, I want to. I want to. When we do it, and it won't be for a few years. Um, I want to do it with and organise to to see um, launches of SpaceX. Yeah. From Florida, from okay. Texas. Oh, okay. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, twenty twenty six, uh, the summer. So this summer, uh, I uh, I'm I'm just taking vacation. But twenty twenty six, I'm I'm repositioning. Uh, homes that like i'm like i'm gonna buy i'm looking at things to, in asia because you know like i'm looking at place to live place of home uh travel i got families all over the place in asia so uh so i'm gonna go visit yeah. them uh so I, I i already discussed it my wife already so we're we're definitely going to go to korea uh because and then and then we're going to swing by uh probably singapore singapore is my college classmate her, uh, her classmates and stuff like that, and so some of uh, some of our friends, uh, and then and then uh, you know I it's one of the conversation. I said I said, honey, I need do you do you want to swing by my first duty station, my first post outside the United yeah. States, and uh, yeah, she's she's you just the, the, yeah, you just tell her that Matt wants to see the gimp, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know yet. We got to see the movie first. But yeah, do, do it when you watch the movie. Have a movie night and watch it. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't watch that kind of movie. She watched a lot of the Korean drama, but not Korean movies and Asian movie, but not. She doesn't. I don't think she watch any of. If if not in the theater, I I she only watch movie in the theater. But like her Netflix channel is all Asian. Uh, like her her account yeah. is all Asian. There's nothing. I don't think she see a single American film. <laughs> Well, but um, yeah, she's she's just not interested in Hollywood stuff, you know. Uh, yep, not at all. But you know, the thing is, um, yeah, that's that's those three reasons, you know, for family, uh, you know, for uh, for family, professional, and then and then friendship, you know, and uh, and that's why we that's why we are heavily moderated, um, you know. But the other thing is too, Camille. It's 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 more personal than that, to be honest with you. Like you can't control what somebody else says. Yeah. Okay. But they say it. You don't have to put up with it. It's your discord. Yeah, yeah. I won't put up with it. Yeah. That simple. Yeah. If you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to keep, you don't want, if you don't want to have conversation with them, why would I want to have conversation with them? No, exactly. Yeah. So that's why I have no I problem with really Broadway like, banning really like that. Yeah. Most of the band, yeah. I don't even know it. You know, like they, they just got banned. I'm like, okay, good, uh, because I don't know it. Because if you don't want to have conversation with that person, yeah, don't. And and people don't realize what happened is if you want to grow this community, your community. Uh, for those who are like starting out an investment YouTube channel, I guess I'm talking to that person now. Um, here's something to think about: you actually get more subscriber, more viewer if you control your community. Uh, if you you have because the, would you narrow your focus to talk about the topics that you talk about, like like if you go to Harley Davidson video, uh, you know people talk about race car driving. All they all they post is race car driving. They don't post anything else in their channel. That's all they talk about. Uh, if you to, you go to a, a sport, that's all they talk about is that sport, uh, that that particular sport. You know, like if you go to. Uh, whatever, a lot of YouTube channel, they just very focused on something. Uh, so if you are focused on dividends, which is the same community that we're in, uh, then focus on that. But but if you don't control the community, because what's going to happen is you're going to have uh, instigator and toxic person and people people who have no best interest to help you or to help themselves, and they're just going to create an environment. So if you don't control that, uh, what's going to happen is they're going to you're going to end up creating uh, a, a situation where you're just going to cannibalize each other. You you, you yeah. because you allow toxicity to be in the room and to create and just having tidbits uh, that is unnecessary. You know. Here's the thing: even if you use your own name in this court, it's still a level of anonymity. Yeah. And some people just feel like that it's their duty to run a mark and we just don't put up but you know yeah. we get 
we get um, we used to get a lot of people come in and spam us to join like Telegram and stuff like that. Yeah. Even that slowed down now. Oh, I, I haven't seen I haven't seen them. a spam. I haven't seen the yeah, spam I mean, in almost a month now. Oh, unless you guys um, been banning them, I haven't seen them. In a couple, in the last couple of weeks, I've seen two spam names come up. One yeah. was yours, and I, I I sort of got onto it pretty quick. Yeah. Um. It, it is, you know, what it is. Yeah. But it, it's much less frequent now. Yeah. And even the banning in general is much less frequent. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah you're banned one today because of the, the screen name he chose. Yeah. But he chose, sorry. But um, it, 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 it's, you know, I can remember a little while ago and not that long that it was every day I was banning multiple people. Yep. I remember two of us banned the same guy on a live stream once. <laughs> Yeah. And Brandon. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, it, you know, like, just, we want you to be part of the community. We we want you to contribute to the community. Yeah. It's only as good as we all make it, yeah. you know. You might have silly questions in, they're silly questions in your own mind, but if you don't know the answer to it, it ain't a silly question. Yeah. But there's the right way to ask it, too. And most people won't mind answering if they know the answer. Yeah. Well, and somebody then some in of here knows the answer. Uh, and and yeah. somebody in here willing to take the time, just they, they don't, you don't realize how much time it is to answer these questions. That's why I can't do it. I can't answer a long, complex question because I don't, I don't have, it takes 15, 20, you have to research it real quickly to get the, the sources yeah. in your, of, your, of your thought, and then you have to put it together, and you have to type it up so the other person can understand it. And that takes time. Like, I, you know, and, and people willing to take the time to do it, and, and, and that's, that's one, one of the strength too. But you, you know this when you're in a, in, in a discord or in a very toxic environment is nobody answering long, complex questions. That's the first indication yeah that there's something wrong in the water. When when not yeah. a single person care to answer the question or want to answer a long, complex question. Um, I know this in video game. I don't know how true it is because I don't hang out in other people's Discord. Um, and uh, there's, there's a reason. I'll, I'll, if you're an administrator, here's, here's something I, I, I share uh, as, a, as a consideration. You do you how you want to do it. As an administrator, you should not hang out in other people's Discord because what happened is you are what happened they people tag you as a spam uh so they can create more spam from you from you uh i see yeah. that in, in in gaming discord and so if you have if, if you go from one if you go from one game to a different game it's not the same that's like two different community but if you go from the same game to another same game discord what happened is is the gold farmer not necessarily there's nothing wrong with you the gold farmer sit in their discord they just sit there and so once you post something they see you they they, they essentially create your picture your name your your like and they will use it uh to uh to essentially uh you know uh you know to people let's yeah to, to sell something whatever right. it is they do so that's why i don't hang out yeah. in other discord i just hang out in my discord and um and uh, there's no need. Uh, so, but yeah. So uh, uh, people don't realize there's all these theories and these concepts and stuff like that. And but the the biggest thing is that if you're a jerk, nobody's gonna hang out in your Discord. And you promote uh, bad attitude, you're gonna end up cannibalizing each other. Because what happened is all the good people leave, and next thing you know, you have nobody to talk about, and then you end up talking about each other, and and then. Even the, even the most hatred, you know, the most raunchiest or whatever you call the most, you know, craziest people, you end up just cannibalizing it, and then next thing you know, you 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 have nobody, you know, nobody wants to be there. Exactly. I, I, I see this in in gaming community. We had a we had a guild in one of the gaming. Uh, this guild lead by one of the top player. This guy is one of probably the most best you know when when you have to rank the top 10 player in the world this is this is one of the top 10 play but he's a jerk he love insulting people he just he he when he play 
uh, he shoot people and and after he killed them, he just kind of like, you suck, you shouldn't even be in anywhere near me type kind of thing, you know? And he is just not a good person. But they have a Discord community and, uh, and, and, and of course the people who follow him, there's like thousands of them, all right? They're like, there's a huge, so you jump into the Discord, they're just gonna attack you uh, because you suck at it, you suck at this game. Well, what happened is, so when my, when my guild came along, we're a brand new guild. These guild, these community been around for like years, you know, 10 years or so. So when my guild came along and we focus on, you know, new players, friendly people, you know, just, just, we're just good people, just good dude. And, uh, and what happened over time, I, we noticed that their guild, their, their numbers get smaller and their discord community gets smaller because what happened is I keep telling people, I said, you don't need to go hang out in that community. That's not, that's not for you because you're not at their level. You're not a veteran at that level. So just hanging out in our community. And then, and there's more people just hanging out in our community. So our, our YouTube, our Discord just got bigger and our unit got bigger and overshadowed some of these, you know, uh, legacy units. And then, and then all of a sudden their unit gets smaller. And then once you find out is we didn't, they get smaller, not because of anything that we did. It's what happened. They just eat themselves alive because they ran out of people to talk to. They, they just ran out of new people. So when, when, when you knew, when you knew, you say, okay, I, I don't know where to join. So guess what? You're going to go jo try to join the best unit possible because that's the best team in the game. So they join that team and they find out that team is very toxic. And a lot of them just tolerate it because they don't have any other place to go. But when you have an alternative, which is me, or our units, our guilds, they come and join our guild and they turn out, they're like, oh, this is a lot more better. It's a better atmosphere. And um, and then, oh, not only that, they ban all those toxic people. So only toxic people go to that uh, that guild, and only the good people come. And, yeah, that and eventually, eventually, what happened? They just erode, and they and they no longer exist. They their Discord just don't exist anymore. They, they, you know, they they're still there. They still post stuff because the admin still manage, but they, they they nobody hang out, nobody play from that channel, nobody do anything. But they all focus from from our channel, and uh, yeah. So I see that I see that a lot in in video game community. And guess what? Finance community is the exact same way. Um, the only thing different in finance community is that the the people joining the endless. There's there's always new investor. There's always in gaming community that that number is capped. You can only have so many new players. Uh, because it's the game. If the game can only sell, if the game sold one million one million copy, you have a million potential, you know, gamer. That's it. You're not gonna have any more. You're not gonna have any. You know, you can have less, but you're not gonna have anything more than what it sold. You know, so. Um, but investment community, that's not the case because there's billions of people, and you're never gonna run out of people. There's always people interested in investing, and and. But what happened is you see is that your channel will go up and flow. Uh, you know, you'll go up and then we'll come down. It will go up and will come down all depending on what type of new people it is. But, but what happened if you're a toxic person, if you, if you just mean all the time to people, well, yeah, you, you're only going to have mean people in there. And, uh, and, and you're not going to have any good, honest, you're not going to have, be, you're not going to be able to have any good, honest conversation. I truly believe that anyone who talk about finance, YouTube, video, you can become successful, you can make money, and you can get rich. If I can do it with very little effort, I can get to 4,000 subscribers, you can do it too. Uh, easily, uh, very easily, and you can get rich, uh, and you can make money from you, uh, from YouTube and from other channels and stuff like that. So, uh, that's that's one thing I just want to share. What, I mean, what's your take on that, man? Yeah, look, um, my take on that. It doesn't matter what it is in life, okay? Whether you think you can or can't, you are right, okay? If you think you can't do something, you're already telling yourself you can't do it, so you don't and won't do it. But look at the other side. If you think you can and you give it a go, you know. Chances are you might fail and learn something, but 
there's a bigger chance you might succeed. And that's for all parts of life, not just investing. It's, you know, relationships, how you treat people, how you react to things. You know, we're all guilty of doing misdeeds, for want of better words. Um, we could all handle things better. I'm a prime example of that, I guess. Um, not something I'm proud of. Can I be hot-headed at times? Yeah, it takes a lot to get me there, though. But once I'm there, I, I'm there. You know, it, it gets pretty full on. Um, but the community is a good community. And as Camille said, we don't tol tolerate crap. Um, come along, play nice. I don't care. I'll have a good debate with anybody. And it'll be a debate. Pick a side. I don't care whether you're right, wrong or indifferent. And with in investing in these particular stocks, I can see both sides. I'm one of few people who can see both sides of this. And I understand why some people don't like them. I just happen to be on the other side of that. And I can see how what I do makes a difference. I take it for what it's worth. Um, there's a reason I'm in the ones that I'm in. Yep, Tesla, because it was one of the first ones out and I had to get my toes wet. That simple. Would I have done it the way I did it? Not in a million years, but I'm glad I did it. I've made good money. I'm not complaining about it. I'm still making good money. And it's still one of my favourite funds. It is what it is, bud. Uh, man, this is a pretty good conversation this whole morning. Uh, I didn't realize mm. we were talking about for an hour and 41 minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. Me neither. Me neither. Doesn't feel like that. Time's mm -hmm. flown. Yeah, it's a, it's a good conversation. Matt, do you, do you have any issue uh, uh, upload this conversation? No, uh, you go for your life, mate. Okay. Uh, I, I wouldn't say anything to you offline or online that I wouldn't want the public to know about. It's that simple. I'm pretty black and white that way. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like I always tell people that if you, if there's no need to send private message to me, if you can't post something in in general discussion the forum, then you probably shouldn't send a private message. You know. And uh, that is yeah, it's the same exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah. If um, no, I appreciate it. Uh, my 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 wife just uh, woke up and. Uh, and uh so, you go and tend to uh, take care of her while she's crook yeah well crook what's that mean uh, sick oh sick oh okay <laughs> yeah i Australian know it's a slang. Australian term uh, oh man oh one question before we punch out have you seen that there's a, a movie on netflix it's called it's about oh man i i i don't know what's called it's about this this guy and this girl they go into a wedding in, in, in australian sydney and um, and they, they essentially it's a romantic it's a romantic comedy, and uh, mm -hmm. it's on Netflix. Uh, it's there's a blonde okay. girl with big boobs and uh, and I don't know I can't think of, and the guy from Top Gun. Oh, um, I know who you're on about. I can't think of the name of the movie, but no, I haven't watched it yet. All is fair All right. in love and give, war. Give me, a, I'm I'm trying to find. Um, I just log into Netflix right now. Oh, so it take place in Sydney. Oh, any anyone but you. That's the name of the show. Anyone but you. Anyone but you. Yeah. Okay. So it take place I'll in Sydney. It. There's a scene where where the main character met an Australian bloke, and he used nothing but Australian term, and we had no idea. It, it, it was a funny exchange. I thought, uh, you should watch it. I now the yeah I will yeah I it's, will it's a really it's a really interesting take on what American perspective what's going on in Sydney <laughs> yeah okay I'll watch it <laughs> it's a romantic comedy so uh, uh, don't watch with kids though so it's more toward you know the adult side my kids are adults they probably know more oh, than okay, I do at this okay. stuff I just I just give that fair <laughs> warning you know but it is a romantic yeah, it's all comedy. Good. I I yeah. I saw it, but I was like, that's not my style of movie. 
But the only reason I watch it is because there was a scene in Australia. I was like, oh, let me watch it now because it's in Australia. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Before before I'll, I I'll uh, before I close out here, there's a lot of people just jump in. Uh, does anybody want to say anything uh, to me or Matt about anything? Uh, I'm just going to stop the recording uh, for the for the you know. But if not, we can talk offline. So I'm going to stop the recording here. Uh, hey, thank you. Hey, everyone, I thank you so much for watching. This is a very interesting discussion. We cover a lot of broad subject on everything from investment strategy to managing discords to uh, just our relationships. Relationship, <laughs> yeah, yeah, always. Uh, interesting. Uh, if you want to join the discussion and conversations, uh, just click on Discord link, this link right here you see you see in the YouTube channel, just click on this. I will go right into our Discord and then you just, you know, uh, exchange, uh, you know, information. Hey, uh, all we want to, all we talk about all the time here is investing, making money and, and, and you know, trying to improve our portfolio. And uh, do we have all the answer? Probably not. But however, collectively of all of us, yeah, there's some, yeah, we, we have a pretty good answer. Uh, okay, with that, Thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care, everyone.